coffee stick because I'm gonna run out here really quick. So I'm holding my phone like this with my hand. Here I'm seeing my favorite spot of the cemetery because it's out of the way. There's no tombstones, there's no graves. It's literally like the edge of it before you actually go in to the cemetery. So it's my favorite nice little spot to sit by this bush tree thingy my bobber. So yeah, day two of continuing my exercise journey. I'm gonna walk the track more. I'm having a great day. This is very awkward guys because of um, my self mistake. I apologize, I will bring it out tomorrow. I'm left-handed, so I have to hold Brady. Brady's much easier if I hold him with my left hand. So I wanted to get out here. It's the kids' little break from homeschooling. And so I want to get out here, do my walk. Even if it's 2,000, that'll be more every day. Build up that tolerance of walking. That's my, my issue. I walk a couple steps, and then I kind of just like, I'm done. I can only do 10 steps. I did 1,800. Now, what'll happen, hopefully not, but what used to happen is I would do this for two or three days and then be like, okay, I'm done, <laughs> I'm done. And then my tolerance would go back down. I gotta, my body's just not used to walking much anymore. So I just gotta get it back to walking. So I'm gonna just do, take it one day at a time, one track loop at a time, try to do some more jogging, get my heart rate up, you know? So I'm gonna do that. I have a lot to do today. So homeschool, break, now out here walking, go back in, finish homeschool with the kids. I have a lot to do with my tumblers. I have to start, I got three orders yesterday, so I gotta start those. I have the Beetlejuice cup. The one that I was making has to get listed on my website today. So I have to do that. I'm gonna make a video kind of like behind the scenes so you guys can see me taking photos of it. So how, like how I get the product photos with this little painting, the AB Family Graphics painting that is in the background, Mike painted that for me. And so I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna I'll probably video it so you guys can see me taking the pictures of that. Then I gotta put it on my website. I also, because I strive for, you know, different type of tumblers, a unique thing. An idea came into my head the other day that I wanna try with that tumbler, but I have to take a picture of what it looks like now and then have a picture of what I'm going to do to it because I'm gonna give uh, customers two options the way it is currently with the white or the green and white stripes with the glow in the dark drips and the decals. But there's one more embellishment I wanna add that I think will tie it in together. And it's like, uh, has a purple color to it. So I wanna try it. I've never tried it and I just, it's an idea. And the good news is if I mess it up, I can wipe it off before adding the next layer of clear coat. So we're gonna take a picture of before I do this. <laughs> And then after, if it works after, then I can put it on my website and give people option to have it one way or option two, this new way. So that they can add the extra little purple embellishments to their tumbler if that's what they want. So I'm gonna film that. Then I'm sending this stupid, one of those stupid spotted lantern fr fries. Yeah, the, there's fries, guys. There's the McDonald Golden Arch staring at me in the sky. Hold on, I'll show you guys. See that? I'm thinking about McDonald French fries because I got the golden art staring at me. I don't even remember the last time we got McDonald's. And we literally live within walking distance of one. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do that with the tumblers. And anyway, I, that's what I was saying. I'm going to mail it. I'm mailing it to a friend. I'm mailing them two tumblers. I'm going to uh, maybe show myself packaging it so you guys can see how I package the tumblers. But you won't see my friend's address or anything. But. I'm gonna show you how I package them. I thought that would be neat to kind of show you because I show almost every single step, you know? So yeah, I am excited to do that. So there'll be some videos on my graphics channel. I don't know if I'm gonna break it up into several videos or I'm just gonna do one long video or, you know, like have it all in one video. So we'll see, but I have that to do. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna go walking. Less talking, more walking. I'm gonna go do that and then go inside, homeschool and then work on my tumblers because I'm excited. The orders are rolling in, Christmas is coming. I'm just so excited to get back and make cups full time. Anyway, I will see you guys soon, bye. All right, my crazy Beetlejuice hair. My hand is covering up the mic. So that's gonna be an issue. Hopefully the, I can fix the volume. 
Okay, I'm walking. This is the fourth loop around, the fourth loop. I'm not vlogging as much today because I'm every day trying to walk more and more. But I figured I'd give a example of me walking and talking and how I don't know if this would be interesting content. Da -da -da, da -da -da. And I gotta gasp for air every time I talk. So this is why, that's what started me sitting down in the cemetery in the first place, is I gotta sit and catch my breath while I'm walking. So I'm gonna sit down in a minute. I'm almost up this loop. So when I get up to the tree, I will rest and I will talk some more. See you soon. Okay, I'll say I lied. This is about where I'm like arching my back because my stomach. <sighs> We're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. Oh, man. There's some garbage around, so my sons went around. They wanted to clean up some garbage. I thought that was very kind of them. Not much garbage because we've been working really hard to keep garbage out of the cemetery the past couple weeks. So every little piece gets picked up helps. Guys, I made a pit stop in Babyland. It's beautiful over here. It's so peaceful. Very beautiful. Let me switch hands. My kids and me have worked on trying to pile the sticks to the tree because sometimes there's, because of this big tree, there is sticks, branches, stuff that gets on the plots. And so we've been trying to gather all the sticks. And then there was a bunch of garbage over here earlier that the kids picked up. I didn't anticipate on picking up garbage because I didn't know that there was much garbage out here because it wasn't out here yesterday when I was out here. So it must've happened last night. So my kids got a garbage bag and ran in and got a garbage bag and went and picked up some of the garbage. They just enjoy doing that. I, you know, I, like I tell people all the time, I have amazing kids. They could be playing the Fortnites and doing the TikToks and here they are cleaning the cemetery. I think that's very selfless and amazing of them to do that. My daughter cares for baby land, something very dear to her. So she takes extra care of this part of the cemetery. And it's called baby land because there's a plaque and I'll interject the photo. Um, I had stumbled across it months ago and I was just like, baby land. So I thought it was somebody's plaque and I was just like, there's no name. I was like, well, maybe it was a stillbirth or they didn't name the baby. They just said baby land. And I Googled what baby land was. And it's an area of a cemetery that sometimes cemeteries will mark off for the babies. And so one day I was sitting here and I was just like looking at the births and death dates. I was like, oh my goodness. I think that's what this is. I think that's why that plaque was like a tarnished, like turquoise color. And I think that's why it's called Babyland because this is where a lot of the babies are. And uh, you know, my daughter likes to sit underneath this tree and listen to audiobooks and just kind of look out because it's kind of calming and peaceful. And so she has a very soft spot for all these babies. She's just like, mom, that's so sad. Like, look at their birth dates and and death dates it's the same year and I was just like that sometimes that happens I was pregnant with twins with my middle son I didn't really you know fully ex experience a full-term birth I sympathize and you know I'm here for anyone that's ever experienced that or had rainbow babies that's a blessing when you have your rainbow baby but I had twins when I got my sonogram and they told me that the heartbeat wasn't they couldn't find a heartbeat in the other one. And I asked them, I was like, well, what's gonna happen to that baby that's in my stomach? They said that it would get absorbed or something, but my middle son was going to be a twin and twins run in my family on my mother's side. So it was a possibility. I was just like, that's crazy. I could have had two of my middle sons. Sixth time I'm walking around the track. I always say it just so you guys know, you see the, hold on, see behind me? I'm not walking on graves. It's the track that I just walk around. I'm getting there. Keep walking. I'm gonna try to beat my steps from yesterday. It's gonna happen. I 
I just remember, take my time. If I gotta take a break on the track to catch my breath, do that, you know? Yeah. I also just wanna thank all my subscribers. My count's going up and I appreciate it. My goal is a thousand and you guys are making that happen. And I'm very thankful for that. I'm also going to add my graphics channel in the description. Please, if you can, go subscribe to that channel as well. I'm trying to build that channel up for my business. I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm gonna continue walking. So this is the sixth, sixth go around. I just finished the sixth go around of the track. Oh, my hair's, oh man. This, this is gonna stop. I, hey, well, for one, I was like, this is gonna stop for me. This, what is this? What is this? Um, I did get hair dye, like root touch up. It's just not gonna be here for a few weeks. I wanted to get the two boxes, so I have an extra box. But, I, you know, I, I'm torn between continuing to hide my grays, as if y'all don't know I have them. Like, y'all know I have them. And then in, like, a few weeks, then the gray starts showing back up. Or just trying to embrace that I have gray hair. And I got gray hair because of genetics, because I started going gray at 28. And um, my grandparents went gray early. My mom did not, but they say it skips a generation. So I think it's genetics that play a role in my gray hair. I don't know if my brother would have ever went gray because he passed away when he was 23. So I don't know if he would have ever went gray early like me. So I don't have anyone in my generation with between my two parents to compare this gray hair to. But you know, I, I, I don't mind covering it up because it makes me, you know, feel a little bit better. It doesn't make me look like I'm 50, even though I'm 33. But then I think about my subscribers, people that are older than me, people that do have gray hair. It's like, what am I saying to my subscribers if I try to cover up my gray hair? You know what I mean? So I, I go back and forth on whether I want to keep covering it up. I already bought the hair dye, so I'm going to do it now. Or do I just let it grow out and just embrace that I'm getting old? <laughs> you know? I'm married. I've been married for 12 years now. And, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I mean, my husband and I are never going to leave each other. We joke, we're too crazy. We're too crazy. We're never going to leave each other. I have a husband who loves me, who met me and started dating me when I look like this. I'll put it on the screen. That was, that picture was taken the day before me and Mike met. And I'll try to throw some pictures up of me and Mike from when we were dating, when we were teenagers, before we had children. We went to New York City together. It's my first time in New York City. And uh, we went to, for his volunteer fire station, he had something called installation. So there's a picture of us. He had a suit and tie on and I had this like dress. And we got to meet some dude named Randolph Mantooth. And I remember telling my mom, because it was at Martin's East, across the street from my apartment complex growing up, I said, some old dude named Randolph Mantooth, he was in some show called Emergency or something like that. And my mom goes, what? You're gonna meet him? I was like, yeah, some old dude, because he had came to my husband's uh, volunteer fire station earlier. And uh, he hung out with all the guys there, all the firefighters and EMTs and stuff. And so I met him and his wife, his wife is beautiful. Like I met his wife, shook his hand, gave me a hug. like. He, my husband, you know, Mike took pictures of him at one of the, the fire stations, equipment and stuff. All that's in storage. But uh, Mike, had, he's a professional photographer too. On his spare time, Mike can also add professional photography on his resume. <laughs> but he went and took these photographs. And then that night was this installation, this celebration or something. And Randolph Mantooth had this speech and I didn't know anything about him, but my mom, like, I wanted to do something special for her. So I asked Mike, Mike went before the installation, he went and took his SD card to like Walmart and got all these prints for the firehouse. And Randolph Mantooth hand signed every single one of them. And Mike's got ones that are out, it says to Mike. I think he's got one of his wife. His wife put the fire helmet on and Mike's got a picture of Randolph Mantooth's wife and she had signed the picture. And then he's got a couple different shots of Randolph a man tooth in the firehouse. So I asked Mike, I said, can I get one of those? And we were just dating. I mean, he does not obligated to help my mom or give my mom anything. He had no idea that it was gonna be his mother-in-law. Um, I said, can you get me one of those photographs with his signature on it, stupid bugs. And so he went and, and got one of those photographs for my mom. And it's one of her like favorite things. 
but again that's another thing in storage i have so much stuff in storage i want to show you guys it's like if i can come across that in storage i'll show you guys those photographs i don't know if i have any pictures of those photographs on my phone or on mike's facebook i'll try every time i try to make a vlog i like search things on facebook to i don't have to show evidence but like try to back up what i'm saying by old facebook statuses or pictures or something but uh yeah I, I just i don't remember that guy i was just like some old dude i feel bad but because like, i was 17 i was like some old dude named randolph mantooth i don't know he was on some old show <laughs> but my mom's like what you got to meet him and hang out with him i was like yeah he was he was a cool dude he was really really nice me and mike were dating for a couple months and uh i got this meet randolph mantooth at some installation but i don't even know what the installation what is installation that's another thing i'm gonna ask mike what the heck i just knew what it was called installation something with the firehouse i don't know <laughs> But he wasn't working as a paid EMT yet. He was volunteering. But he also worked at um, a nursing home because his mom used to be the assistant administrator of a, a big nursing home in Baltimore. And he worked there. And then he worked at a graphic design shop. I think that was it. And then he did photography on the side, like freelance photography but he did not get a paid EMT job until um, we got our apartment together. So that would have been like 2009. So yeah, anyway, I don't even know where I was going with that guys. Where the heck was I going with that? Just saying me and Mike have been dating for a really long time. So we've, we've been, we've watched each other grow up basically. Not only do we have children, but we've watched each other, we've watched each other grow up. He met my brother. He was there when my brother passed away we have four children together and I've been there when his grandmother passed away. I met his grandmother. Me and his grandmother were going to like get into a fist fight before. That was interesting. Rest in peace, Karen. Love you. RIP Karen. She was a rad grandma. I was telling my friends the other day that Mike's grandmother was the kind of person she had tattoos on her boobs. Absolutely love her. I'm going to put some pictures of Karen. I'll verify with Mike, but Mike's like, stop asking me. I don't care what you tell people about our family. I don't care. He's like, I don't care what you say about my family either. <laughs> but I will put some pictures of Karen up as well. And there was a time that me and her were in a fight. And she goes, you want to go, bitch? Let's go. And she's like, I'll duck you right across the face. I was like, Karen, I'm not going to hit you. She's like, what? Because I'm old? Like, I can't fight? <laughs> oh, We had our little spats here and there, but she was funny. And she brought a certain life into our family that's no longer there you see this bug i'm just gonna is it he's like jiminy cricket he's just hanging on me hey get off stupid bug i'm gonna walk the track a couple more times i think i'm up to 1875 steps or something so i'm almost, almost up to 1900 steps we're already past my my steps from yesterday so what else to say so that was my little story that me and mike are me can't think me and mike are like this i have a piece of dirt on my finger me and mike are like this can't come between us uh, i can't wait to go to storage i'm gonna ask him be like yo abbott when you gonna take me to the storage unit <laughs> we're gonna get lost in there i better make sure all of our last will and testaments and stuff so it's arranged because there's there's a chance and i told mike i said this will show youtube to test our like our marriage this, this is gonna test our relationship right here trying to navigate me and him together trying to navigate this storage unit he it was like i swear to god shelly he's like you open all them boxes and they start falling apart and then he's like i'm gonna leave you in the storage unit with all this shit everywhere he is so concerned that i'm just gonna make a freaking mess of the storage unit He's got it down packed and organized. It doesn't look organized. I was like, well, it don't look organized, Abbott. It looks, it looks a little scary. What do you, I have not been over there. It's a mess, but a lot of it's just empty Amazon boxes from Christmas that he keeps forgetting to throw away. But man, he got that crowbar. And the kids were like, dad's got a crowbar. Dad has a crowbar. <laughs> and he was like, I was like, fuck the Christmas tree. <laughs> we don't need the Christmas tree right now. The Christmas tree's in the front. Our Christmas tree is in the red. Oh, a kitchen chair. The fireplace. The fireplace.
A lot of those boxes are at the. Some of those brown boxes are empty from Christmas. Yeah, yeah because you can, Dad got a crowbar. Dad has a crowbar. Dad has a crowbar. When do we get a crowbar? When do we get that? That's all the time. No wonder he doesn't want to take me here to vlog. Fuck the Christmas tree. Stop it. Cram it in there. We don't need it right now. Oh my goodness, uh, there's a fireplace in there. My goodness, it's like lawn mowers and weed whackers and camping gear and uh, what else? There's so much, there's so much stuff in there. There's bags of clothes, toys. There's a full size kids play kitchen in there. That was like $300 from Kohl's. I'll just put a picture. This was my daughter's play kitchen um, that we bought for Christmas. And that's somewhere in there. I don't know where. I have a vinyl scrap box. I'll show a picture of what it looked like at my dad's house in the basement. That's in there with all of our supplies, our vinyl, our vinyl cutter and stuff. You've seen when I open up the storage unit, there's a wooden cabinet right there. There's a queen size bed in there somewhere. <laughs> we are, me and Mike's bed is in there. Um, <laughs> there's a metal bed frame. Oh my, God, my goodness. There is so much, so much stuff in there. I don't, it's a 10 by 30. So we will get in there and we will, we'll have some fun and you might hear me in my fight. <laughs> my light, listen, my light bulb is not on all the way. When you are, when you have dyslexia, right? And your husband does not have dyslexia and he is trying to give you directions. It is the most stressful thing. And that's why I say me and Mike have a strong marriage <laughs> because when he tries to give me a simple task and he's got to give me 87 directions to that one task because I, I just don't get it. It's not clicking in my brain, but that's how you know he loves me. He's there, he's here for me because it would be so much easier to leave me and just pay child support at this point than to put up with my shenanigans. So that's just, that's just us. He's like, your, your light bulb's not on. He's like, turn your fucking light bulb on, woman, please. Uh, you gotta love him. I want him on my channel more. He's just been really, really busy, but I'm gonna get him on my channel more. Maybe he can dye my roots. <laughs> Mike's my hair dyer now, my hairdresser. He's been dyeing my hair off and on for years. He is such a good man. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. More walking, less talking, right guys? I'm gonna get off here, gonna walk a little bit more, gonna go inside, get some lunch. I'm gonna film me making some cups. I, I'm a little scared of my, my Beetlejuice uh, idea. It could go one of two ways. It's a 50-50. It could end up horribly in which I will just wipe it off or it could be a masterpiece. So, and I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if it looks like shit. <laughs> I'm gonna show it. You all know on my channel, this is authentic transparency. I could, I have the power to cut out stuff off my thing, you know, off my, off my videos. If I was embarrassed in any way, shape, or form, do you think I'd leave the things in that I do, that I pee myself and I run, you know? No, <laughs> but I leave it because it's funny. Because you guys like it. And it is me. Like I said, this is me. Anyway, I'm gonna get off of here so I can walk and keep talking. Get the hell up, Shelly. Continue on your weight loss journey. I hope everyone has an amazing day and I will see you later in my graphics channel vlogs. See you later, alligators.